Alright guys, welcome to video number 16, and now that we took care of all the boring stuff, the main menu, and downloading images, and setting up all the classes, we can finally go ahead and hop into the play state. Now the play classes, we're going to be doing most of the coding, and it's actually where the user is going to be spending most of their time walking around the world, so let's just go ahead and I'll shut up and start coding. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up a couple animations now go ahead and type that so I don't mess that up now there are going to be five well kind of four different animations four or five depending on how you look at it an animation is basically going to be Bucky walking as of now all of the things on the map such as the trees and the buildings those stay in one place so the only thing that's going to be moving is Bucky however we don't just have one animation for Bucky it's actually four different animations moving up or walking up walking down walking to the left and walking to the right so these four different animations Bucky is going to be set to one of these depending on which way he's moving so the first thing I want to do is I want to make an animation called Bucky just because this is pretty much the default um, Bucky this animation is going to be set to one of the other animations basically depending on what direction he's moving so the second animation is moving up which is the animation that's going to play whenever he's walking up and moving down moving left moving right and I know that you guys don't know um, how to create an animation yet but I'll explain that whenever we get to it for now just remember that there are going to be four different animations for moving up down left and right and Bucky depending on which way he's moving is going to be animated to look like he's walking in one of these ways so the next thing I need to do is I need to set up or pretty much load the main map so image and I called this world map basically all the land the building the trees that's what this image is right now so after this I'm just gonna go ahead and make a boolean call it quit and set this equal to false by default now what this variable is gonna do is whenever the user is playing the game we're gonna give them the option to quit the game just like we gave them the option to exit the game on the main menu so we're gonna be giving them an option to quit the game whenever they're playing it and whenever we do that of course this variable is gonna be set equal to true but we'll see that more later on so after this what I want to do is I want to make an int array and I want to call this duration now the reason I want to do this is because whenever you have an animation you need to tell the animation how long do you want the animation to last for well in order to do that you actually pass in an array of numbers so let me just go ahead and code this first and I'll explain it 200 200 I guess I might as well give you guys a real quick explanation of how animations work in slick 2d as you know just like movies or a flipbook an animation is made up of a series of images so once you play image after image after image each image is slightly different however once you play them in a row it kinda looks like one big movement or one big animation so in slick 2d each of these images is called a frame and the duration of how long you want each image to last is specified in this array right here so basically what we're saying is okay whenever Bucky moves up is gonna consist of two different images the first image is gonna last for 200 or uh, two tenths of a second and the second one is gonna last for two tenths of a second so this entire animation of moving up is gonna happen in less than half a second so basically just remember that in order to create an animation in slick 2d as you guys will see later on whenever I show you guys the code but you need a series of images and you need to tell it how long you want each image to last and when you put all the images together it's gonna look like something is being animated so with that long winded example let's go ahead and code some more simple variables float Bucky position X set this equal to zero and of course what this variable is going to do is keep track of Bucky's position in the game and if I copy this and add another one but call this Bucky position Y 
this is going to keep track of, well, it's pretty self-explanatory, his X coordinates and his Y coordinates. So by default, 0, 0, Bucky is going to be at the starting location, 0, 0. Now, what I want to do now is put float, shift, I'll do X first, X equals Bucky position plus 360. And let me go ahead and encode these tutorials. I mean, excuse me, code the freaking tutorial. Code these lines first, and then I'll explain to you guys what I'm doing. Y and Y. All right, so basically what we're doing right here is we're setting up a variable to shift something 360, and also this should be 160, and this should actually be 320. Because the game, the entire game, let me go ahead and run this real quick. This entire window right here is 640 pixels wide by 320 pixels tall. So in order to have Bucky in the middle of the map, what you need to do is you need to get the coordinates for half of those. So when you shift it 320 over and 160, what that's going to do is it's going to give us the coordinates 320 over and 160 down right in the middle so basically what's gonna happen is whenever you move Bucky he isn't gonna he isn't gonna go like this he isn't gonna walk over and you know go off the screen and start walking into your you know freaking desktop icons what he's gonna do is he's gonna walk but the map itself is gonna move so Bucky is always gonna be in the middle of the screen and the map underneath it is going to be moving which is gonna give the appearance that Bucky is actually walking around the world and allow him to have a map that's bigger than your game itself so it's a pretty cool technique and uh, once you guys see it actually in action it's gonna actually be really cool so now we basically have all of the variables set up. We have all the animation variables. We're about to load our image itself of the map into the game. And we keep track of Bucky's position. And this is just for Bucky being centered in the middle of the screen. So now that that is all set up, we're ready to move on to the good stuff. So for now, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.